What's going down, folks? It's Andy Coppins here, managing editor of MadtownBadgers.com, and it's another edition of From the Editor's Desk. So let's just dive right in. You know the drill. I'm going to be talking about some topics related to the Badgers, and this week, it's all about two words, superstition and red. And red, obviously, that's Badger colors. And yes, I know you sticklers out there, it's not red. It's cardinal and white are the official school colors. Well aware. But for our purposes, it's red helmets. Because they ain't cardinal, I'll tell you that much. Getting a small glimpse of them after the game last week, sitting in the equipment room, I'll tell you this much. They're about as red as they come. That being said, that's right, folks. Tennessee Tech, the, the red helmets are back. Not anywhere near what we saw last year, thank God. It's the red helmet with the white motion W. Just kind of the opposite. Think NC State when they switched up to their red helmets um, after they went white for so many years. In fact, for the Badgers, this could be potentially the first time that they've worn a red helmet on a semi-regular basis or regular basis since the 66 through 68 seasons. So, why is superstition involved? Well, folks, if you know any athletes, if you've been an athlete, if you've been a coach, you know that superstition is everywhere in sports. It could be you lace up your left shoe before you lace up your right. It could be that you write a certain message the certain way. You wake up at a specific time. You put your left pant leg on first before your right. It could be that you, you know, you, you pat yourself on the back a certain way. Whatever is your superstition. We all know it, and we all know that they don't mean anything other than it's just a device that helps us you know, process what's going on. That being said, do not expect Gary Anderson to have any say as to whether or not the Badgers ever wear these helmets again. That's because one, Gary Anderson is not, and I repeat, not a superstitious individual. So he's going to leave it up to the leadership committee, a great idea, let the kids decide. Do they want to wear them again? I'll say this much. If Wisconsin wins and wins big, I guarantee you we see those helmets at least once at home in Big Ten play. The second Wisconsin loses with those helmets on this year, those suckers will never be seen again on the football field in the 2012 or 2013. Those suckers will never be seen again on the field in the 2013 season. That being said, what do I know, right? These are just my views from the editor's desk.